Hi guys, Steve here, and I'm going to show you how to make a huge amount of fertilizer for your crops and plants. As you can see, we'll be doing it with dung beetles. So the first thing to do is build a place to keep them. That's easier said than done because they escape from virtually any cage. So to save you a lot of time and stop your beetles from getting killed, click this link to see two designs that the beetles can't escape from. Trust me, it's best to watch it now before your beetles escape and you'll start dying. Okay, the first thing to do is get some beetles. But we're going to need some poop to feed them when taming. So what I would suggest is take your Bronto or Stego out and collect lots of berries. The main ones you're after are stim berries. Collect those and also normal food berries. If you've watched my video on what's the best farming dinosaurs, you'll know that we'll be feeding them the Philomena to make poop. Put the berries inside its inventory, then start force feeding it stim berries. It will lose all control over its ass and crap all over the floor. I normally give it 50 berries at a time, so you'll get a good amount of poop without it despawning. Then just go around and pick it all up, until you've got enough to tame a high level beetle. Around 60 poop, just in case. Next put all the poop inside a fighting argent bird and fly to a cave. I like to use the one where the artifact of a pack is. As you can fly in, grab a beetle and fly out again. That's its coordinates. Go inside and try and grab a beetle. It's best to take a fighting bird because there's lots of bats and snakes in there that you might have to kill. Luckily this beetle was easy to find. Just grab it and fly back to base. I take them back to my multi-purpose taming cage. If you wanted to build one, you can view it here. Just drop the beetle in the top. Land, then go inside to feed it. Drag the poop to number zero on your hotbar, as you'll be feeding it by hand. Then carefully go up to the beetle and press E when it's hungry. Keep refilling the zero hotkey with poop as it doesn't do it automatically. Then just repeat this process until it's tamed. Beetles tame quite quickly. Once it's done, name it if you want to and then fly it back to your base. Then drop it into your unescapable cage. I would do this each day until you've got enough beetles. Then after you've dropped the new one off, I'd fill them all with poop. Take the Bronto out and get a large amount of stim berries. And again feed those berries to the Philomena and make it poop. Try and get more than enough to fill all the beetles you have. Next go to your cage and start filling them full of poop. The higher the beetle is, the more fertiliser it can make. And you always want to be levelling up its weight, so it can carry more poop and make more fertiliser. Take the previous oil and fertiliser, then refill them with poop, and repeat this for every beetle. Remember that you have to enable Wander for them to start making fertiliser. You can see the higher level beetles carry a lot more. The more poop it holds, the longer it will take to convert into fertilizer. So I'm going to finish filling these up, and then come back in about 5 game days. That should be long enough, so let's see how much we have. <laughs> And as you can see, you get a lot more fertiliser a lot quicker than you would with compost bins. Plus with the added bonus of getting oil as well. That one's still got a few to convert, so that probably needed 6 game days. 
I'll leave it to finish off. I'll go around collecting all the fertiliser, then fill him up with poop again. And that's how you make a huge amount of fertiliser. Don't forget to watch this video on my unescapable beetle cages. If you don't, you wish you had when you'll start escaping and dying. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching, and if this has been helpful, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the links of other helpful videos at the end, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.